I filmed this video over a period of three days, so my clothes are going to be different in different clips, and also you'll see me wearing my boot and then not wearing my boot, because the day that I wore my boot is when I injured my hip because I was walking unevenly. But I'm glad you're here, so sit back and enjoy the video. One more thing, I live in an industrial area, so there's a lot of background noise. It does go away in the video, and also my camera was stuck in between modes, and the focus was off because it just didn't know what to do, whether it meant to do autofocus or manual focus. So I do apologize about that, and it also will clear up. Again, I hope you enjoy the video. All right, I know it's a mess. I got some elderberry, I got some um, invasive canna lilies. I've got ice cream bananas here. And the reason why I planted bananas on this side of my house is because this side of the yard stays wet. So the bananas are soaking up all of this water and helping with the uh, bogginess over here. And it's worked out pretty well. Around, so I'll just go ahead and it will turn go ahead and turn around so I'll just go ahead and take this off there we go it's a pretty leaf I hate to lose it That looks a lot better. Sorry for the traffic, but rush hour, morning rush hour is picking up. And I'll come back by with the lawnmower in the wagon and I'll clean all this up. But that looks a 100% better. Very nice. 
All right, so let's get back out there and start working in the garden. I'm at the sago palm and it's growing on the window. The sago palm is growing on the window, so I need to take that off. It's just two fronds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take these two off. Here. There, that gets it off the window. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and trim this up on this side too. There, that looks a lot better. All right, everybody, it's been a couple of days and it's been raining, and then, you know, it's just one thing after another because still working on rental property. Still having to mow the grass for you know, four people and you know, it's just a lot of work. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pull up all the weeds since it's overcast today. And we have the usual suspects, camera uh, photo bombing. We've got Daddy in the front, uh, we got Jules in the bag, and then we have Lucy. Anyway, so today while it's overcast and beautiful, I love this weather and it's probably about 72 degrees, I love it even more. I'm going to get out here and I'm going to roll out some more landscape fabric and because I'm going to be putting in more raised beds. Not in this video, but I will be putting some in later on this season. So I'm kind of excited about it and the crew's here. So let me go get that roll of landscape fabric and let's get busy. So what I want to do is I want to roll out some more uh, landscape fabric. Uh, the lawnmower got caught right here. I didn't see it because of all the weeds. And I got most of the weeds. I chopped them in half and the other half still growing on top of the landscape fabric. And I'm going to build more beds. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my grandfather owned this land before I got it. And it just, he tilled and tilled and tilled to where nothing I plant out here thrives I mean it'll survive it just doesn't thrive and um, I'm just gonna do raised beds also so also it floods and it holds water back here because it's almost down to clay okay um, I went through all this what I'm gonna do now um, is I'm going to pull these weeds and move this hoop uh, house somewhere else to get it out of the way I'm really trying to take advantage of this fog bank that rolled in and blocking the sun just so I could stay out of the heat and my camera won't overheat.
What's up, girl? Man, sand gnats are getting me now. <sighs> Get all these sand mats, they're killing me, man. Thanks for helping, Jules. I appreciate it, baby. Good girl. smell some kind of chemical and I can't put my finger on it. I can't tell where it's coming from. Like a centipede does when you pick one up. That's what it smells like. You know what I'm doing. It's daddy that gets all freaked out all the time. Gardening with chickens, huh?
Come here, chickens. Right here. Come here, chickens. Come here. Come here, Jules. I'll have to move out of the way. All right. I'm going to let this rest for a while. I'm going to let things calm down for a while. Let the chickens eat. She got that cabbage moth. Good for her. And... I'm gonna let the sand gnats calm down because they are chewing me up. They're in my eyebrows, eyelashes, oh, arms and legs. Such is the life of where I live. chickens won't eat them is beyond me. They'll eat crickets and spiders, but they won't eat ants. But those ants are they're pretty mad. They can't find me. So what happens is if I don't use pressure treated wood, they'll get inside these boards and make nests. And you don't see them until you disturb them. And they are mean.
All right, I have decided to go ahead and roll out this third roll. That'll probably take up all of it and call it good. I'll have to order another roll. Um, I'll put the link down below to the landscape fabric and the butane lighter cutter. Alright, now I have to put now I have to put the staples out and I bought a 500 pack of these and this is all I have left <laughs> so, the 500 always order more than you think you'll need because trust me these are great for other projects not just landscape fabric
One thing's for certain, you can grow in them. And they're gonna biodegrade, these bags are, so you'll only get one season out of them. done in the last couple of days. I pulled the grass back off the tarp, uh, neatened up the banana trees, and built, moved, put out new tarp for landscape fabric, and moved two raised beds, filled one with yard debris, and everything's blown off and looking good. And so tomorrow, or in the next video, I'll come out here, top the beds, and put out some pine bark mulch and possibly I need to stake this uh, pear tree right here, the Florida pear, and pull some more grass.